Okay, well, it's back now. It's actually to work. I'm going to go check on some eggs I got hatching. This is kind of a normal morning. <clears throat> so these slit yesterday. Of course, like typical, I cut the eggs after a couple slit. We wait for them to slit the first slit. Now you see how they're hanging their heads out? See, that's why we cut the big window is so that they have lots of room for they can just lay their heads out and breathe and be natural. Uh, I don't know if I can find the one that cut on its own. Okay, here you go. See, this is how they cut on their own, but sometimes they get a cut like that <clears throat> and they take a little breath of air and then they get caught in the egg and they drown in the, in the slime. So that's why I don't believe in leaving them that way, even though Mother Nature or, or that's how God created them to call in the wild. I don't want any calls in my shop if I can help it, so <clears throat> I try to go ahead and assist them a little bit. Now this egg is one that was actually kind of didn't wasn't very good when it was laid, <clears throat> and you can see as a result the baby's small. So that one may be <clears throat> maybe or maybe not do real well. It just depends on how it eats when it comes out of the egg. So this clutch here did real well. This is actually a first also for us. <coughs> This was a titanium <coughs> tiger to a uh, tiger het titanium. So we have some plutoniums. We have some, let me see here. There's a titanium. There's a super tiger citron. You can see how beautiful it is. See his, see his head out? See the dots on his nose? <coughs> that telltale sign of a, of a super. Now there's another titanium right there. And then let's see here. I know you think this might hurt the animals, but I pro I assure you this is absolutely perfectly fine for them. I like to actually make sure the membranes are broken, just because once in a while, if their if their tooth is missing, it can actually drown. So I like to look at them a little bit and see how they're doing. This is a tiger citron, and uh, there's a titanium. There's another super tiger. See how see the color? How nice it is. Now you can actually see the yolk. See the yolk right there? It's going to absorb that all the way in its belly. None of these will probably absorb yet, even though they sometimes when they slit, it depends on the air volume in their egg, because sometimes there's a little pocket of air in them. <clears throat> so that makes it a little bit different than others. Oh, there's a wow, that's a really odd looking one. I don't know if you can see it on the video. It looks like a like a calico. <laughs> we didn't even realize that when it hatched. See the see the blotching on its back? It is really odd looking. Wow, I can't wow, it's all the way down. It's got great wow, that is really a unique animal. So wow, we're gonna have to take some pictures of that later. That's pretty neat. So we'll have to wait for him to get a little further along. The uh I know I saw what I think to be a plutonium in here somewhere. The, of course the plutoniums are only twelve and a half percent. So it's very very low number. Well, there's another kind of blotchy one, but not at like that one. There's a really nice looking super. Oh, look at that. This one's got a little deformed. His eyes are a little bit small. So there's just always a percentage of things. Oh, there's a plutonium. A very nice looking plutonium. You can tell the plutoniums, they almost look albino. See the pink and the, the color in them? They're really colorful. They, they literally like a, remind me of like a, uh, oh, what do you call those orange ice creams, Laura? Creamsicle. Creamsicle. So that changes when they get a little bit older. It turns into a really bright, vivid yellow. And uh, we'll have to shoot a picture of, a, of an older citron. I mean an older uh, super tiger uh, titanium, which is a plutonium. Anyway, this is a normal day. Check it on the eggs, seeing how they are. I've got to check another clutch of eggs in a minute to see if they're pipping because we keep a close eye out for that first couple eggs to pip so we know when to, to make the cut so they can get a good breath of air and, and we don't lose any of the drowning in the egg. Of course, we are excited to see what's coming out too when we're breeding things we've never seen before. The next clutch is a titanium tiger to a titanium tiger. So it has the potential to produce two animals that have never been seen. So we're hoping to make those soon. And that's an albino plutonium and an albino tiger, titanium. So we've, we've only hatched one titanium albino so far ever. So we're looking forward to it and excited. Hopefully you'll be able to share it with us.